this is the Opie and Anthony Show. Serious, serious XM. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Oh, the happy song. Very good. We're all back on the same page. I guess I fucked up the the phone number. Yeah, yeah. Ah, the uh, so fruit zero. What is it? Two. Fruit zero two. But well, why would they spell out zero in the phone number? I guess they don't want you to say O. Oh. Yeah. They should put a zero with a line through it, that, which is that universe. They could put, when you put a seven with a little Hitler right, mustache right. in the middle, people know it's a seven. Yeah, but when you spell it out, that means you have to spell out the word when you're dialing. Well, That's how I learned it I over don't know. the years. I guess they just didn't want you to say And then I oh. fucked it all up for everybody. Yeah. So just do the zero, but don't yeah. spell it out. Yeah. Uh, I'll remember Meh. for the next read, which I'm sure is right around the corner, Sam Roberts. Oh, do we have to do this every day until Valentine's Day? Yeah, it's looking like it. Oh, say the word real quick that you can't say. Uh, chocolate tea. See? Yeah, I know, but you, if I slow shit down, I could say it easy. But you'll, if you slow it down, you'll, you'll get it, and then you will have to. Chocolate. Chocolate. Because you say chocolate, chocolate, and then you just put a T at the end. Yeah. Chocolate. Just think you're going to order from the Blackboard Coffee Shop, and you're having a chocolate. <laughs> chocolate tea. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rose is playing Caroline tonight. He is. Yeah, he's he outside is. the studio. Is he just Ooh. playing it tonight? You no, know, Joe Rosa, I got a beef with fucking Joe Rosa. I'll tell you right the fuck now. What's man. your beef? He's got a girlfriend, and he talked about his girlfriend on our show, but he wanted to keep it all nice and secret and shit. Yeah. Then he goes on Artie's show, which has that amazing visual element, and shows off his girlfriend. What? Yeah. Wow. That's she horse cute? shit. She cute? Everyone's saying she's uh, really cute. I, 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 I don't have time to really listen to other radio shows, so I don't, you know, I'm sure Artie does a good job. I just haven't really checked it out. I'll Is see him the 17th. Reading? Oh, right, Jimmy. Yes, of course. Where at? Gotta. The Borgata. Sorry, I'm not leaning forward to let you through, Sam. I know. Personally, don't give a shit about your comfort. <laughs> well, that's just uh Yeah, how come he showed his girlfriend really on Artie's show, but he would... Uh... I don't know. Oh, what happened there? I should make him do a prison-style interview because of that. Oh, man. Remember what happened last time? He had a comic do that. What happened? He died a good move. They killed he died themselves. years after that. A lot of people years. like to make it sound like it was the next week. Richard Jenny. Yeah. Yeah, that was the guy. Well. Whew. I'd like to ask him why. Who? Joseph. Oh, yeah. Well, bring Joe in, because then we got to play the uh, Robert we'll De Niro. Play Niro. Um... How were the blueberries? They were good, right? No, it was just a bad <laughs> thing. I think you just kind of beat them. I don't expect they got a rifle through stuff. them. Why, why'd you show off your girlfriend on Artie's show? But but on our show, you wanted to keep it all like nice and yeah, secretive. That's a fair question. I didn't. I didn't. I, uh, hi, guys. What's hey, up, Joe? How are you? Good, man. I, uh, is it weird seeing each other sober? Uh, it is kind of. <laughs> last time I saw it, we were fucking. I know. We were hammered. I haven't been in the city in a while. I, I love hanging out and uh, doing some drinks. But of course, now with the chick, you probably don't like hang out now with the guys anymore. What are you, crazy? <laughs> yes. I got my rule book I, you do? <laughs> I put on the table. Uh, <laughs> drinking with Ant is always going to be part of any relationship I'm in. That's true. Why, yeah, yeah. Why did uh, you show Artie your girlfriend? I didn't. I just bro- She just came with me. You wouldn't me. even show us a picture off air. Oh, I man. showed you a picture off. I showed you a picture on air. You made me take her Wait, website yeah. down. Yeah, I did. I showed you a picture yeah, on air. You, guys, on you guys were all going out. She's cute. Oh, on air. Forgettable, I guess. I, that's Whoa, nice. I've never seen her. That's real nice. Now lash out at me before I can explain. I'm not uh, lashing out at anybody. I'm right. actually the only one in a, in a good mood. It might be in a good mood, too. I'm I'm not everyone else is. Mood. I'm actually not. I'm sorry, Jim. I oh, heard. Shit, now he is. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm just tired. Yeah. I heard you guys all fighting down here. I wasn't fighting. That was great. It was, you were laughing I was, at the I fighting. I was stirring a little bit, but I wasn't fighting. <laughs> I said the same. I felt like it was when you would sleep over your cousin's house, and they're all fighting. And you're like, I just want to go back to you're my like, mom. Yeah, I want to go home. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I remember that shit. <laughs> you to sleep cool. over your cousin's place? Yeah, sometimes. This but, whole, I'm sorry, Joe. This whole sure. being stuck in the mud thing has had me in kind of a bad mood for the last week. Yeah. This yeah. whole thought of it, the whole idea of it, it it's just they're just totally making it harder and harder to do the radio show. I think we still do a very good radio show, but totally justified. Not because of those guys down the hall. I mean, even Our my staff stand-up is good. Though, I got double double the disappointment. Why? What happened? No, just in general. Just you know, it's, it's not like one specific thing. Sorry, Joe. Anyway, that's okay. Joe no, Rosa. I was just going to play Caroline's tonight. Yes, tonight and Sunday. Thank you. Who's there for the weekend? 
I think uh, like Jeff Garland or something. I don't oh, know. Okay. I forget somebody. Friday, Saturday. But yeah, I'll be there tonight and Sunday. Uh, but uh, the uh, <laughs> I didn't uh, to, to answer your question. Why are you laughing, Joe? Because uh, I just you know some things I just find oh, funny. Something in my eggs. I uh, just happened. Uh, I took I, that bite when you mentioned Jeff Garland's <laughs> name. It was just a coincidence. We, uh, but I went. To, uh, I didn't debut her on Artie's show. I brought her with me to the show because it was at night. Why wouldn't you bring her to our show? Yeah, because I didn't. Because I wasn't gonna get her out of bed at six a.m. Yeah, you know, you we were just hanging together. out one night. Oh, cool. So she, anyway, she came with me, and then they they ended up putting our camera. I didn't know they were gonna do that. Oh, were you so. pissed? No, no, no. I mean, yeah. she didn't. You know, no. that's cool. She probably no. didn't mind. I mean, if she's a comic. She, she's not gonna mind the oh, she's press. A comic. Or, yeah. or you know, I mean, or whatever. She's not gonna mind a little bit of press. Yeah, she liked it. It was nice. How was Artie's show? It was fun. Better studio. Nice. It was a beautiful studio. It's huge, dude. Yeah. Dude, it's literally He's been doing huge. radio for a year. It was. Uh, is, it, <laughs> is it better than this one? Let's, girl, guys, you're my number one chick. How, how long? How <laughs> long we're not long trying to say. I know, I know. How long we really want? None joking. of us have been over to Artie's studio, so it's, we. I have, it's amazing, it's, right? It's, it's, a stu it's a loft apartment. I mean, it's it's like oh, not even nice. a studio. It's like, you know, yeah. It's a it's a huge fucking. And you it's know, with a TV nice. deal tied into it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's uh, what'd you do? Three hours? No, no, just like. An hour. About it's an a hour. fun show to do. Yeah, well, that's right. You were there. I, the well, I did, I did it the first night they did TV, but I was with him and Nick together. Um, I haven't done it with just Artie yet. I would like to. You uh, hear anything about that, uh, Nick? Yeah, what Carlo happened to Nick? Thing? I don't know anything. And no one I, knows a thing. So I've been it must seeing be Nick. Horrendous. Somebody asked me the other day. Somebody goes, "Do you know what happened?" I go, "I don't know what happened." I go, and neither of those guys are guys I would walk up to and go, "Hey, so what?" Hey, what happened? Yeah, no kidding. You're right. <laughs> you know, like something bad happened. Do you know anything? No. Nick indicated that when he could talk about things, he will, but he hasn't. He's been very vague. And at the cellar, he's just been talking about stand up. So I'm, I'm not pushing him on it. Something uh, happened because Nick really loves doing radio, and he's very good at it. So. I don't think you yeah. just walk. Yeah, but I don't want to, you know, I know how it is. Big. You're afraid that, you know, you don't want to mess anything of up course, by talking. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah. But that's interesting to, uh, to, uh, I was to say to see or to see that happen, but I would love to know what it was. Yeah. I didn't even know about it until I got the email that said, do you want to come and do the Artie Lang show? And I was like, oh, Artie's doing a second show. Ah. Good for him. And then it was like, oh, no, that's at the same time that the Nick and Artie oh, show was at. Oh, something, <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, something, something happened. Something is a miss. Yeah. 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 Well, we got uh, De Niro. We have to eat on air because we don't, we have so many live reads. 18,000 reads a day because of Valentine's Day coming up. Is that How many have we done so far, Sam? I think you have five left. That's, That's it? Bad. That's not bad. We're not doing all bad. right. All right. We're 25 make... minutes ahead of schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Longest married couple in U.S. history. How many years? 80 years ago. Oh, oh look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Devote your time to understanding one another. Oh, she looks like a bird. That, that, really, that's the whole thing. She doesn't look bad. Thing. She's got to be pushing 100. They don't look wow, bad. He's spry for yeah. 101. He By is. the way, the spry. guitars have five he's children, 14 they just grandchildren, said. and 16 great grandchildren. Now that's Mr. and Mrs. Happy. Oh, no, fuck they're not. not. All right, uh, let's move on. There are She's a thousand a reasons why people are late to work. <laughs> Traffic is the most common culprit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not all employees blame. They're 101 years old. They're 101. They, they sound good for being that old. Like, they they look, sound very together. They actually look really good. Yeah. I think... Jesus Christ. It's about understanding. The most important thing is listening. <laughs> so you must be like, I want to fucking cave her head in every time she talks. Yeah, and he's uh, got no, the most important thing is that I keep wet snatch on the fucking side. <laughs> uh, I'll bet you when one of them dies, the other one lasts eight minutes. Oh, exactly. <laughs> she died. He died eight minutes That's later. That's what happens. I like those fucking ducks. He gets to be a bachelor for eight minutes. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. been looking forward oh, to it boy. for years. I'm going to have a night on the town and go... <laughs> <laughs> he dies with like a black hooker's feet in his mouth. <laughs> he has a heart attack. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I'm hot today. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. He just wants to. He just wants to take a shit without anyone knocking on the bathroom door. That's uh, all he wants to do. <laughs> when she was just fucking preaching, uh, and it's about you know living and understanding each other's. Fuck you. <laughs> just, just wants to wrap his hands around that transparent <laughs> neck. Yeah, he's 101. <laughs> She's probably say 95. So they're oh, kids. No, they've been married 80 years. Well, back then they might have got married 21 oh, and 15. I bet you she's right there. Maybe. 
Yeah, Look back then, I mean, you could yeah. get married when you were like fucking 15 back then. That's yeah. so. I'm just giving the males usually older. Watch her be 30 years older. She's 127. <laughs> <laughs> she robbed the cradle. I used to babysit him, and I noticed he had a big bulge in his diders. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the kids could be, let's just say for the, to be conservative, that she's 95. Uh, they could have kids who are 75. Their kids are 75. 75. Wow. She's 97. She's 97. 97 All years right. old. So imagine having fucking 75-year-old right. kids. Hi, mommy. <laughs> yeah. Does it uh, does it say if they have kids on there? They have five yeah, kids. They, have kids. Yeah. they just listening? said that. Oh, five kids? <laughs> and 16 yeah, great-grandkids yeah. and shit. That's Fuck, a lot. Where were you? you I didn't hear it. it. You got to listen. You got to listen if you're going to do a radio show. I didn't hear it. Listen, what? man. You got to pay attention. There got to be a few <laughs> dead ones. What man. are their age Their age range of their kids? That's fucking... I don't know why that freaks me out to think that someone I, 75 is saying, hey, mom. I heard they have a seven-year-old. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. The one <laughs> you were the surprise. Yeah. You were oh, sixty-eight right. years old. <laughs> <laughs> Remember on Golden Pond when Henry Fonda is he turns eighty in the movie. It's his birthday. That's this, the Norman, and he's talking to the thirteen-year-old kid Billy. Yeah. And he goes, "You ought to meet my parents." And Billy goes, "Your parents are still alive." He goes. No, but you want to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> he was great in that movie. Uh, What's that movie? I've never seen that movie. Oh, it's God. It's an What's amazing it movie. Oh, it's got <laughs> communist Jane Fonda in it. Yes. And, she, uh, right. and uh, she's got her father and a mother. Right. Played by uh, what? Henry Fonda and, and Catherine Hepburn. And Catherine Hepburn. First thing they ever did together. Ah, okay. And... Uh, I guess he's getting Alzheimer's or something. He turns 80 and he's developing a bit of his memory is going. Yeah. Okay. On Golden Pond is the lake they have their little place on. Oh and it's a whole relationship between the daughter and the father. You know. It's, it's a, like a terms of endearment kind dude, of thing. Yeah. That type it's great, of a, though. It's kind yeah. of a coming of age. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they go on a trip <laughs> to find a dead it's, body. It's a coming of it's age. Coming piece. of old age. <laughs> right. She's, uh, she's dating. <laughs> Jane Fonda's the daughter. She's dating Dabney Coleman, who's her boyfriend a dentist so they say look we want to go away to Europe can we leave his son with you so they leave their 13 year old son oh, Billy right. with the Thayers for the summer and okay. usually the Thayers would go up there and have their summer on Golden Pond alone but uh, they say uh, okay oh right so they do it for their daughter Chelsea and who plays learn. the kid anybody no I forget his They're... name it was never a big, a big which is amazing you sure maybe you, we just don't know I've looked him up dude I, okay. he's, he, he's, it's, he was in a movie with Jane Fonda he went into the Henry uh, Fonda Danny from fucking the shining category dude it was a <laughs> triple Oscar winner and the little kid and he from never Close did anything Encounters after that. category <laughs> not much they all just no. fell off the face <laughs> of the earth the kid from the toy yeah <laughs> well that oh, kid wound up kid, going dude. into porno I know how great Soft is that Or porn or something no he did fucking he did hard he did the real deal nice one of the saddest things I've ever seen is uh, him on the E! True Hollywood story, The Where Are They Now? Yeah. And he goes, uh, he goes. I mean, come on, guys. I could do Friends in my sleep if I wanted to. A part's a part, okay? It's uh, like, yeah. no. Really? <laughs> yeah. You take it. <laughs> Good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got fucking oh, you cum got... drying on your lip right <laughs> yeah. now. Shut your fucking face. <laughs> you want to see the worst married couple ever? Sure. Who's this? There's a couple. It might be tough to find, but maybe someone could send us the link. They've been married forever, 50, 60 years, and they dress, they coordinate their dress every Aww. single it's fucking horrible. day. It's disgusting. Yeah, great. Someone can find the link. It was on one of the entertainment shows. It, this was the most douchiest thing. And can she... we tell it's coordinated silk pillows? <laughs> <laughs> there you are. There you are. You, you find me a worse married couple than this fucking video. Adorbs. They dress alike, and they've been doing it for decades. A couple has worn matching outfits every day for more than 35 years. Holy that's not, that's not obsessive compulsive. Company. They own 146 custom-made outfits, and they wear them every single day. Jesus Christ. What fucking assholes. Every day. Every day, our tie, my tie matches her dress. But it was before we traveled in 76. Uh, so let's see. Oh, goodness sakes. No, I don't remember how that first outfit... Of course you don't. That was for our golden <laughs> <laughs> gold horrible. thread. Ugh. I love gold how the Lame. SMS incarnation. Most of their clothes feature Jesus flowers. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, you know what that closet yeah. smells like? He lets his wife pick out the outfit. <laughs> See? Mothballs and fucking See? her death. pussy. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, That's can you imagine this? Yeah. Can you imagine being a kid in the fucking projects watching that video? Uh, yeah. Oh, did, did you get your ties to match your jacket, you fucking cunt? <laughs> I just ate rat turds for breakfast. <laughs> well, in the projects, they'd probably respect that because of the yeah. fucking clothes. Yeah, yeah, it would look like, yeah. Yo, bitch, my orange hat matches your orange shoes and panties. <laughs> <laughs>
That is a, that's a rough married couple. Uh, uh, <laughs> it was had to be her idea. Yeah, it was, and she and picks it out every going day. Going along with it. because Most the of only them are marriages, flowery outfits. The only marriages that last that long is if the guy is completely fucking pussy whipped, and just shuts his fucking yap. Wait, what year is uh, eighty years? Yes. Ago? Well, huh? but I was going to say also the other way it can work is she shuts the fuck up and he does whatever right. he wants because it's old yeah. school. When, when's that going to happen? Do you know a what I mean? Woman shut her fucking mouth. Those impossible. Are, those people get married in the forties. Anything she uh. says has to be annoying at that point. Ah, uh, what kind of coffee would you like today? I want to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to kill you, Crystal. Uh, yeah, give me. I want to kill you, decaf. Yes, you give, fuck. Give me a sanka and then throw yourself down the cellar steps. <laughs> Do you realize uh, in 1953 they celebrated their 20th wedding anniversary? Like, in that's 53. They were married 33. Oh, my God. God crazy. damn. That's let's, crazy. Let's get to De Niro. Yes, please. De Niro uh, is crying and looking like a blubbering idiot on that, what is that this? Katie show. He's an actor. He's Speaking of age, fuck, has this guy just lost it? This is the Steinbrenner syndrome all over again. I want to get a picture of him. Do you? Yes, I do. Oh, great. They're going to fly to England to do it? Say, so, hey... Tap on the shoulder, go, hey, pissy eyes. I yeah. want a fucking picture. Yeah, what, you soak your head in gravy, you fucking yeah. cocksucker? Just look at him and go, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stop your whining. <laughs> Would you say that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop, Stop your whining. Knock it off. Stop crying. I'll give you something to cry about. He was threatening to, like, punch me and make me cry. Who? That's Robert wrong. De Niro. Really? No, my dad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I started, I got, I tuned out because I was looking at the picture of De Niro. Yeah. And I came back in. I really believed you. I'm a fucking moron. No. That's two strikes, Joe. I know, oh, I know. Damn. I'm sorry, two guys. Two strikes. I'm going to get my ears on, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, here's I'm De Niro in. crying on Katie. Focus, Joe. Oh, God. So, so anyway, so Bob comes out and pushing him. And I said, you can't do that. You know, he said, you said but it's like I'm a raging bull and it's freaking out. What? And eventually he said, you know what? It's real. A kid, a teenage kid, if a grown man with a bloody nose in his pajamas was pushing him, you know, might start to laugh nervously. So let's play it. And that became a very beautiful moment in the film where he says, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to break that camera over your head. Then I'm going to come back and interview what it's like to have that camera broken. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm sorry. And he immediately realizes that he's out of control, but he gets to say, what are you laughing at? And so he used it. You know, he taught us all. He taught us all. Did, did, did you feel a, a greater uh -oh. responsibility, Bob, doing a, a film that, that David had so much personally invested in? Oh, of course. I mean, um, um, <clears throat> I understand what he... But... Oh. What's going on, Bob? Why is he crying? Maybe that's why he doesn't like interviews. What the fuck? Jesus. I don't like to get emotional. <laughs> 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 That's a rip. That's a rip. You can act like a man. What the matter with you? No. I'm using his own fucking clip against him. I see now. the awful, terrible things in my life and turn it into something funny. <laughs> Could you go back? <laughs> That's a rip. That's a rip. Mom, please stop calling me. Wow. Oh, he yeah. doesn't like getting emotional. Yeah, why? and the guy next to him looks upset, too. Bradley Cooper? What, over Silver Lining Playbook? Well, it's obviously something else. But, but I mean, the, you saw it, right? It's a good movie. I didn't watch it yet. I have the screener. I haven't watched it yet. I heard it was very good. The, uh, it it stunk? It wasn't good. <laughs> it wasn't good. No, no, I thought it was pretty over. good. I'm a big David O. Russell fan. I really like I Heart Huckabees and Three Kings. Mm. <laughs> How do you know these names? I, I never saw Huckabees I Heart Huckabees. Huckabees. No, I, the name. I'm a big David, David O'Russell. O'Russell. He's been nominated know. for I'm Academy sorry. Awards. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. You're right. Uh, You're he... more intelligent than me. <laughs> yeah. You see more. the girl in Silver Lining uh, Playbook? She's yeah. Like, she's, she's hot. And she's from Hunger Games? Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. She's sexy. Yeah. This reminds me. She's got a lot of shit going on, though. I would get some of those moles and <laughs> oh, I thought things you removed. Cleavage. Removed. I think those are breasts. There's wow. a lot of stuff, though, man. Why is De Niro crying? It's probably something with his own kid or something. All right. We won't play any of Like a fight? No, I want to hear it. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of when, remember when Sinatra got the Lifetime Achievement Award in the Grammys and, and he was like being spacey and everybody was like, what the fuck is going on? So it was the first time anybody saw him like kind of out of it. Yeah. And it was very like alarming, like what's happening? Like, was he okay? This, this reminds me of that. Yeah, this is uncomfortable to watch. Let's see it though. I don't know. <laughs> they make fun of it.
What happened, Bob? Oh my God! They got oh, him tissues. Katie Couric handing him tissues. Like to get emotional. But I know exactly what he goes to. <laughs> but he knows what? Exactly what he goes to. Yeah. Liar, whore! Liar, whore! You know it. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> stop the clip. <laughs> <laughs> This is going great. <laughs> Be more funny. <laughs> Fancy talk. Fancy talk for a floor. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, oh so Bob. <laughs> oh, Bob. Oh, yeah. What happened, Bob? All right, let, let's give it yeah, a little. Yeah, let's hear more of this. You better go back again. Yeah, yeah. go back a little. I got to go back a they little. Had, I bet you something happened with his own kid. You think? They had an argument or a fight or something. Yeah. yeah it just brought it back for him. Very yeah. sad. Yeah. Let's hear a little. You understood some of the same experiences. Shut your goddamn pie hole! <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, this became an important, cathartic experience for all of you. You know, a communal experience. Oh, fuck it, idiot. <laughs> You're going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you that one of his kids has a, uh, goes through that. People can call me anything they want as long as they don't call me late for supper. <laughs> oh, for wow, supper. does he ruin that joke? Oh, does he ever? For, for supper. For supper. Counselor. We look like assholes right now, man. <laughs> yeah. What's with him? I bet you it's got something to do with... What was the scene they were talking about? The fight where the kid was... Uh, there was a, a kid... Was, Bradley Cooper's freaking out and yelling and screaming. And this neighbor's always taking pictures. <clears throat> Trying to get a video, like a, a, an interview, so he probably yelled and screamed. Mm -hmm. He yelled and screamed at the guy or whatever. Yeah. And uh, I'll bet you that he took this movie. A, because he'll take anything now. But I bet you he took this movie because uh, it, it touches something personal with him. Well, apparently. Jesus. He's fucking blubbering like a fucking idiot. Yeah, can we yeah, go back? Look at him. It's, it's... Yeah. Oh, my God. I would, I would try to compare it. I would be like, you know, I, I, I haven't seen you this upset since you realized that breaking the championship belt was not a good idea. No, but these are the jewels from the belt. Yes. These are the tears from the douche. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's go backwards. Bob De Niro. Jeez, Bob. Where do we pick it up from? Around here? This is the best I've ever seen him in an interview, though. For all of you, you know, a communal experience. Look at these guys sitting there. You know, like... When I first showed him the screenplay in his home, you know... Oh. Jesus. We all know people who have faced these challenges, and we've all been touched by these people, and we love these people, you know. And, and uh, as he says in the movie, I, I'll do, I want to do everything I can to help you get back on your feet. And there's nothing harder in life than when you can't, you can't figure out what to do. Mm. You try everything, and you, and, you, and you must never stop, you know. Your heart just has to keep growing. But when I first was in his apartment, and I was talking to him about the screenplay, this is what happened. And I thought he was having hay fever, and I realized... <laughs> And I realized he was having an emotional reaction. I sat there and I watched Robert De Niro cry for 10 minutes. Oh, and I geez. said, wow, he's really he said, this connecting sucks. with this material. By the way, and this heartfelt speech is coming wow. from the guy that called Lily Tomlin a cunt on that's set. Right. On that's the same YouTube. guy. Yeah, this is the guy that that's kicks the, guy. the door. I know going, that guy. You're fucking cunt. I just don't know his name. <laughs> yeah, that's uh -huh. right. And by the way, a lot of people say in uh, the movie deals with bipolar. We know that yes. much. Uh, De Niro's father was supposedly bipolar. Oh, uh, okay. a little bite. Maybe it's close to his heart. Okay. Uh, but then this guy saying the movie's based loosely on the director's son. That's why he got emotional. Why would De Niro get emotional, though? I don't think De Niro did that emotional. Yeah, he has to deal with this in his own life, I would assume. Right? Well, he said, I know exactly what he's going yeah. through. So somebody he knows. Oh, yeah. hey, Bob De Niro, we got oh, him right here. we got here. him in the studio, yes. <laughs> Tears of a clown. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. every playbook... Does not have a silver lining. Oh. oh. I live here in New York. Support the arts. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Jim, will you can you do Valley Girl De Niro somehow, Ugh. please? Ugh. Pretty please. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> uh, oh, here it comes. I don't Come know on. I can do that. Oh, my God. I'll 
<laughs> he almost said her something. I'm like, or something. He almost said her something. Doing in there? Chip. Oh my god. <laughs> Sugar Ray Robinson is so grody. <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, oh my god. Uh, is there more to the De Niro clip? You never yeah. knock me down, Ray. <laughs> you never <laughs> knock me down. Thank God, Ray. You got blood all over her. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah. I think his heart would be there, and it, it is there. Well, you know, I think one of the reasons the movie is so powerful is clearly because of what we're seeing here today and how much you all... Now Bradley Cooper's crying. Bradley Cooper's all Jesus. pissy-eyed. What a bunch of fruits. Look at this yeah. fucking oh, cut. that guy's all... Bob Kelly's all crying. <laughs> Look at the cut next to him. It looks like Bradley Cooper. Hmm. I got respect for the Bradley Cooper. He was really good in this film. I'm, uh, I'm a fan of the I thought he was just kind guy. of a goofball like you see in Hangover. No, this no. This guy can fucking actor. act. Yeah. He's face man, for Christ's sakes, in the 18. Oh, that's right. I the fucking movie. love that. I didn't see the He's face man. That's a fucking honor, dude. They ask you to play face man. Of course. You know? Because I think. De Niro's son is autistic. That's coming in now? What? what, do we, what what's the real answer? I think it's something to do with it. It's got to be... <clears throat> Something to do with uh, one of the kids or something. That That's always what gets you. But we got seems. three uh, possibilities now. What's the real one? Well, I would love to have asked De Niro, and I almost got to do Leno with him when I was out in L.A., but I just didn't. Oh, Why would that? I didn't you? tell you that? No, they had a sketch so. idea. They told me on Wednesday, listen, Friday we might want you to do this sketch. Will you be available? I'm like, yeah, I'll be in San Diego, but I'll come do your the Tonight Show first, of course. So I go online, and I look up De Niro as the lead guest. Oh, oh my God. I was out of my... But I knew they weren't going to do it. They just didn't, and uh, no. I wound up... No, they wound up not doing it. Oh. Were you going to do it with him, you think? No, but he would have been on the show. Yeah, of course. I would have been... I was heartbroken. Heartbroken. You still think about it? Yeah, every day. Mm -hmm. But you know, again, it was just one of those... They don't care. They just, like... They don't. They weren't even thinking of that. They were just like, nah, the sketch just doesn't fit here, or we decide not... You know, for them, it's just one sketch that they're either going to mm. do or not do. It's amazing. You know what I, I attribute this to? It's a fucking old guy, and old guys get all fucking emotional. Ugh, it's disgusting. Look at what happened to George Steinbrenner. Remember that? When he was fucking young and firing everybody, and he was a fucking ogre. And then later, he's like, this is the best team in baseball. <laughs> oh, for I Christ's sake. stand sakes. here in front of these guys. It's like, I don't want to see that. <laughs> Can you find that clip? Yeah. I, I know we uh, tried to find it. Uh, uh, in the past. I don't watch kinda... that shit, too, with fucking, like, with Sal. It's... I remember, like, Sal driving the boat, drinking and stuff, and then it's like, Christmas shoes! <laughs> 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 Old men just get all fucking stupid and emotional. I'm just... They lose their testosterone or something. Yelling? It's nice when they feel emotional. No, it's not. It it's embarrassing. I'm happy. Why do you take it to that level? Yeah. I want to break you down do someday, man. Oh, I'm just fucking. I'm happy Sinatra went brain dead before he got to his blubbering oh, face. Get all blubbery. <laughs> he was a oh, fucking yeah. cocksucker until his brain went yes. out. You know, it's if, like beautiful. If, if anyone out there can find the Steinbrenner clip that we do reference or Ant references from time to time, please. We've tried to find it. It was something we did at NEW. Yeah, yeah. It was when uh, the Yankees won. The, I, was it the World Series or the? Uh, yeah. Of okay. the World Series. And he just lost it in the, the locker room. Best team in baseball. That's why, the bit we did. Why was he crying? Because I don't know sports. Because like Ann said, he got old and emotional. But I mean, more what, sensitive. Was, what was the context of the speech? I mean, they won the fucking World Series and it was in the locker room and they were, hey, let's get George Steinbrenner over here. And they put the mic on and you were him. expecting like, this. Yeah. yeah, it was like the old days where it's like, well, another great team. We uh, kicked ass and we uh, took names. But it was like, these people to be in the company you know, the principal owner sucked. of the new york yankees george steinbrenner george this 125 know. wins in 175 games oh, this could might you ever be fathom that this, this might be it no, that's, that's i don't it. think anybody would have yes this, this is, is truly as great a team as has ever played the game of baseball in my opinion take the 1904 cubs take the 54 indians all the great teams the 61 yankees the 27 yankees they were all great this is as great as any of them because it's so much harder. Look at these fans. Unbelievable. But it's so much harder today because you have three levels. You have to win the division. Uh, no, I think it was. It's easy room, right? to get knocked yeah. off. Then you got to win the American League Championship. And Cleveland was tough. Texas was tough. And then you... It's 98. Yeah, keep listening to the clip yeah. to see if it's in there. I don't think it is. I, I, I thought it was more in the locker room. Because he was like, his face was going... Yeah. <laughs> 
he almost uh, broke it's down. Blubbering. There. Yeah, it sounded like it was creeping up for a second. I yeah. got excited, and then it didn't happen. Nah, yeah, he was able to keep it down. It's not like it those old fucking. fucking... What, what other Lasorda never fucking pushed out. No, no. Right? You don't like when a man blubbers in. No, I don't like when old men blubber over fucking nothing. When you watched, you know, a World War II fucking veteran. And he starts choking up about his friend being blown in half in front of him. <laughs> that I'll understand. When you see a fucking guy blubbering because of a movie or a fucking song, yeah, stop it. It's not your. I don't think it's your fault at that age, though. I think the the you know it's just part of you the lose aging your masculinity. Process. I think you just don't get control uh, of the emotions like you used to. Stinks. You know. I mean, if you're more prone to fits of rage or whatever as you get older, you know, you're probably more prone to crying oh, bouts too, God. right? Hey, oh, look. What happened? He said hi to me in the bathroom today. He's great. I love I him. I say might... hi to him all the time. But, but, pew, pew. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to go to J.J. Abrams' version. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I love that guy. Let me see. Are we live there? Yeah. You think he regrets fucking that no, thing? No, 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 no. Oh, oh my, God, my God. There's a... Oh, God. Perfect timing. Oh, oh my God. Wait, timing. look at his head. Does his head turn? No, he just. Okay. He, you see how he walks around here too. He puts his head down. He knows. He knows everyone. <laughs> does he know every time everyone looks at him, he they knows. think of that. They think of that Trump. <laughs> oh, what are you guys oh, talking oh, about? Oh, Joe. We can't say. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, All right. Joe. Actually, I mean, everyone knows, but we can't. We'll say. tell you. We'll tell you. Off. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Everyone knows, but we just. I want to watch the rest of the De Niro clip, and Sam's futzing around watching no, that was sports it, videos. Think. Wasn't it? No. It was ten more minutes. Oh. <laughs> ten more. Oh, minutes. Good for us. <laughs> Ugh. 30 seconds. I'll see the last 30 seconds. I'll give you a right, Come on. <laughs> dude, you know, dude. <laughs> it's real nice, dude. Um, Dave, the reason I said to David, let him laugh, I said, let him laugh because I understood what that was. Let him laugh. That's what he would do. And it's his nervous reaction to someone behaving the way I was. Well, it takes experience to understand that and to bring that to the table as well. And, you know, I, I think one of the many Ugh, things this movie right? is doing is it's it's opening a window into how... Yeah, jump out of it. <laughs> Why the fuck can't we get to Nero? <laughs> yeah. The oh, my God. Get him on, you crazy. Get rolling in here. No, you know what? crazy. That was the best I've seen De Niro in an interview. Yeah, because yeah, he started crying. I think that he was just crying because he's reminiscing about the time he actually broke a camera over a guy's head. <laughs> 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 I would love to fucking interview him, man. He's really awkward. Well, well it's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, his, you're right. His actor's studio, Jesus. I mean, you didn't get a tenth of that in, his, in the hour that he was on the actor's studio. It was literally just like, hey, you know, you know, yeah. it's like, but, I couldn't even watch it. I was like, I, I want to wow. hear the story. There's nothing here, though. Yeah. You know? Why don't we uh, take a break? Oh, boy. You know what that means. Um,. I don't know. We'll do some other shit. Evelyn Wood's speed reading course. <laughs> shit. Fucking A from your lips to God. Yeah. We got right. the, what, the Menino rolling thing. Is that good? Yeah, it's fun. Oh, it's fun. Yeah, just quick. Why Getting is blown me? is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Joe D. Rosa will be at Caroline's tonight and Sunday. Tonight and Sunday, yes. Very Thank cool. Thank you. We'll do this right now. Oh, okay. Boston's Mayor Menino. I'm grateful to our public servants. They didn't seek the spotlight, but they didn't miss a beat. I'm especially grateful for all of the visitors, the prayers, and the hundreds of cards and well wishes that poured in day after day. I am just trying Menino from Hyde Park. As translated by Roland. I am grateful to our public servants. They did not seek the spotlight and did not miss a beat. I'm especially grateful for all the visitors' prayers and the hundreds of cards and well wishes that poured in day after day. I'm just Tom... Oh, I'm Tom Menino. From Hyde Park. That's the best he's gonna sound right there, I think. What does that even mean? You're listening to Opie and Anthony. Serious XM. Hey guys, this Valentine's Day go big with the big kahuna, big uh, big hunka, big kahuna. What? The big hunka love bear from Vermont Teddy Bear. When they say big, they mean it. The teddy bear is over four and a half feet tall. How about that? It doesn't get much bigger than that. The big hunk of love bear from Vermont Teddy Bear. Uh, a gift that means you'll get a big reaction from her. Yes, that's what you want, ain't it? Send it to the office for a big surprise. She's going to uh, show it off to her, her coworkers, and they're going to love you. They're going to think, wow, my guy's terrible. Her uh, boyfriend rules. Got her the big hunk of love bear. It's available now for a limited time, only ninety nine ninety nine. 
and delivery for Valentine's Day is guaranteed. The big hunk of love bear. It shows that you really care about making Valentine's Day special. Like all Vermont teddy bears, he's guaranteed for life. So for the big reaction, the big reward, get the big hunk of love bear from the Vermont Teddy Bear Company. It's only $99.99. So go big and go home happy. Vermont Teddy Bear also has hundreds of other classic teddy bears for Valentine's Day. Overnight and Valentine's Day delivery are guaranteed. Visit VermontTeddyBear.com or call them 1-800-829-BEAR. Uh, quickly, uh, Joe Hoff 23 on the old Twitter. Like I said, loving the Twitter today. He writes, Joe DeRosa wants fantasy pajamas for his chick that look like a muumuu and house coat. Hashtag granny fucker. <laughs> it's, well, it's nice to get granny fucker instead of cock lover for once. I always get cock lover. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's yeah. not forget you're also into grannies as yeah. well. Granny cock. What are we looking at there, Sam? You're looking your, at... Your fantasy? No, no, no. <laughs> you're looking at our gay off entertainer. What's he gonna do? Come in and dance around? Oh, he's gonna do a lot more than that. There's only one entertainer. Yeah. Why would we have more than one? <clears throat> oh. Share some of the joy. Oh, oh boy. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Are we back on, or do we have to go back in a break? What, how do we do this? You're back. Oh, we're on. Good. Oh uh, no, Jimmy, because you were sleeping. Well, I'll tell I was you fine until I couldn't sleep. You guys. Are gonna have to hold down the fort while I fucking wet my pants or piss in the bathroom. Oh, come on! I try the bed. I, I, like I don't know if we can do this. I haven't gotten up the whole time. I don't sure know if I could do this. Do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. Joe Rosa is gonna be at Caroline's tonight and Sunday. Yeah, and there's a promo code. I forgot. O oh. and <laughs> yeah, there's a promo code. It's a uh, O and A. And if you type that in on Carolines.com, you get two tickets for it, ten bucks. Is each. it the letter N or is it uh, A and D? A and D. You sure? Yeah, letter O, the word A N D, A, the letter A, O N D. A. All right, put that in. Good. Ten dollar tickets. Very good. Our pal Ron Jeremy's doing better. Oh yeah, looks I heard like he's, he's going to survive, man. When I first heard this news, I'm like, man, we're losing Ron Jeremy. What happened? Aneurysm around his heart. Had to get operated on. Oh my God, I didn't know that. Gave a thumbs up, and then um, he gave a thumbs up the other day, and now he's talking to TMZ from the hospital. Oh, I saw uh, Dennis Hoff was at the uh, cellar, and him and Ron are really close. Yes. So he said that he's – it was the days right when it happened. He goes, that's not good, man. It's really it, – it's rough. But so now it looks like he's hopefully past yeah, that bad part. I think we, he's going to do all right. Uh, oh, this is what he told TMZ. Welcome uh, to TMZ Live and continued uh, presence in the world. Thank you, Harvey. Uh, thanks a lot. Actually, man, it's my, my living is because of Cedar Sinai, which is a great hospital, as you know. You know, and it's funny, like, you know, I don't mind being the poster boy for going in and getting checked up. You know, I believe that John Ritter died from what I had. But I, the difference is I went to the doctor. He didn't, you know. And the thing is, this thing is. Yeah, but he went to the doctor because he was having horrendous chest pains. Yeah, didn't Ritter. I thought that was the thing with Ritter. He went to the doctor, but he was just like uh, too late because he thought it wasn't any. Wasn't that the whole story? He, he thought pretty it much died on the set, didn't he? It was almost instant. With, with Ritter. Maybe, no, no, Ritter might have felt it earlier and just not gone that oh, day. Oh, I see what you're I'm saying. guessing, yeah. Okay, okay. That stuff's so misleading, though. You could think it's like fucking gas pains. You know, people think they're having, like, indigestion. They're having, like, a fucking mini heart attack. And Broccoli stuff, you does know? it to me, Joe. Well, Aunt, I mean, Opa, a lot of people... Whatever, we look alike. Some people okay. could call him Aunt. It was, it's not it Aunt, was, that's it Opie. Was, they're different people. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> they look very similar. I, uh, you look know... look less alike. You know what, guys? I'm, I'm out of line. I'm out of fucking lines. Oh, over there. He doesn't, even, he doesn't listen. He doesn't even know who the fuck he's talking about. Anymore. He doesn't focus. Are you doing a Frank Sinatra in. impression today? You know, <laughs> you I'm going to start crying in a second. It's terrible. <laughs> it's an aneurysm. It's a, a aortic aneurysm. So, yeah. so Ron, how, how bad was this? Well, your skin is tearing away from the aorta. And, and uh, I think a lot of my carelessness probably created it. You know, and it's not, you know, it's, you know being heavy. You know, having high blood pressure. Those are the main factors that cause it, you know. And the thing is, so I, I went, I had chest pains. I had tingling in my extremities, feet, hands, chest pain, back pain. I said, this is exactly what I was warned about. I was on the way to the fly to the East Coast for an amazing event. 
I was so close to not doing it. But all the doctors tell me, had I got on that plane, I'd be a dead man. So, uh, so, so, Ron, how close do they say you were? Why do doctors have to tell you that shit? That's smart, though, because this way, if you ever feel it again, you'll not like they let yeah. you know. Yeah, you got lucky. Make you grateful. Yeah, I think I at agree. that point, you're pretty aware. You don't need a doctor to say, you know, if you got on that plane, you'd be a dead man. I, I agree with what Jim's saying, though. They're, they're yeah. saying, like, you know, this is how fucking close you are. So next time, you know, right. smarten up. And right. smarten up now. And don't when you get out of the hospital, don't think you can go back to your old life. Be right. grateful. Like, that's imagine if you said, like, if you flew, you'd be dead today. Yeah. Like, that's a really final thought. Of course. Uh, you think the Viagra had something to do with this? I don't you, know. You gotta imagine a guy like uh, Jeremy pops a few. I don't even know if he, he takes it. He yeah, claims, I don't know for sure either. He claimed in his documentary that he did not take Viagra. He actually kind of brags and he goes, he goes, you know, I come from an era where there was no Viagra. You had to fucking perform in this business. So, and he's very proud of that. So, I, I don't know if he was a big Viagra guy. I mean, now that he's. Oh my 60, God, thank God Anthony's back. <laughs> <laughs> I was just watching the clock. I didn't know what to do. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking show went right down the tube. <laughs> Shit. That's what happens. You leave the room. Oh, my uh, God. They start letting me talk. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and you have no idea what we did. We could have literally been sitting here in I silence. Know, silence. I wish, uh, I wish I didn't have the I, I, I was a fucking bongo. A bongo solo going on in the music in the bathroom. Nice. It must be the dead channel. Like it's usually some fucking it drums horrid space? jazz. <laughs> <laughs> This was just, it was literally this. You liked it? Oh, fuck, it stunk! <laughs> he gets mad at Bob. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe Rusted Root is doing it in, oh, in studio I, today it somewhere. It was just like, I, I'm, I, I was getting, I was looking at the speaker. I was just looking. I was angry with the speaker. That's, what, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, God damn you, Jimmy. Maybe you're listening to Ron Jeremy's heartbeat. Oh, yeah, right, maybe. Just trying <laughs> to bring guy. it back to what we were talking right. about. Oh, okay. That freaks me out, this interview with Ron Jeremy. I, I get freaked out when you hear guys that are, you know, like... In their own way, whatever it is, like studs or stars, when you hear them weak like that with that fucking sick voice. The weak it, voice? Oh, uh, it really disturbs me, man. It's going to happen to all of us, Joe. That's right. It's going to happen to all of us. <sighs> Jesus Enjoy God. the ride. No, oh, come on. could be it's a short gonna... one. could be a long one. You never know. We're never going to die, man. Dead man. Dead so, man. Uh, so, so, Ron, yeah. how close do they say you were to death? Well, I had gone to the, to the uh, doctors extremely close, you know. In fact, I'd be a dead man, period. Because, you know, they, they, I have a friend of mine named Brad Estra. Is this, uh, it sounds like Groucho Marx, right? Is that yeah, who I'm thinking of? Yeah. Hey, Groucho yeah. Marx? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Away. This That's is a end. giant cock. Well, it certainly <laughs> is. A friend of mine named Brad Estra, who owns a, uh, or used to own a clinic, uh, Sinai <laughs> Hospital in uh, Boca Raton, Florida. And I, they gave him the coordinates of the phone. You know, how the, the, the size of my aortic skin. I said to Brad, should I get a second opinion? Because there's the Mayo Clinic. There's there you are, me too. And then Brad goes, you get a second opinion, you're a dead man. You got to go right now. I said, oh, my God. Why? Well, he said, if you get a second opinion, you're oh. dead. Wow. Yeah, he didn't have time to waste. Yeah. So that's what Iraq puts on uh, every so often is a Mayo clinic. (laughs) (laughs) A Mayo and honey mustard clinic. I'm uh, I'm hosting a Mayo clinic. (laughs) Where they bring over all kinds of mayo. Yes. And then he just, he licks it off their dicks. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, sucker. Good for Ron Jeremy. We're, uh, yes. We're happy he's doing well, obviously. Big fans in this room of Mm. Mr. Jeremy. Yeah. Jesus, man. Man, He and I have connected. Our two big dicks were inside of a girl together. Man. Well, one big dick and... <laughs> no, two big dicks. Oh. Our peckers. One, literally, <laughs> one figuratively. Well, yeah, that's yes. what I was going for. <laughs> two big dicks. <laughs> two fucking... <laughs> two stud puds. I never uh, saw that one where he's sucking his dick. Yeah. Ew. Wait, oh what? God, that looks horrendous. He's Jesus. sucking his own dick. Who's our gay entertainer, Sam? Where's his chest hair end and his pubic hair? <laughs> it's in? a fucking whole thing. Holy thing. fuck. It looks like someone took a dick and a severed head and threw them on a bearskin rug. <laughs> 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 he wears a pelt. Jesus Holy Christ. Fuck. He's a hairy man. 
He was kind of studly when he was in shape. Yeah. Back in the... Yeah, he was definitely... Go with the, that, Joe. You like that? I'm going to go with it. Yeah, he I like it. He was the definitive uh, 70s porn star look, you know? Yeah, Burt Reynolds. Very Burt Reynolds. Oh, here's yeah. our guy. Oh, my God. He's going to come in for the gay off. Yeah, he is. He's, he's like Pee Wee Herman almost. Wow. we got contestants. What's he doing there? What is this? entertainer. What is this? He's taking off his clothes. He's a burlesque dancer. Is there a sound to this? But is he a stripper, right, though? Yes. Will he be able to do that with these guys? Oh, put, yeah. they put his ass in their face? Uh, he's just very well informed on what we expect. Oh, okay. But he's stripping for girls? Hope his ass smells like onions. <laughs> is he stripping for ladies? It's an art gallery. It's guys, it's girls. Oh. It's, you know, Why is it an art gallery? It's fucking crazy, you know? Because burlesque oh. isn't dirty. Oh. It's New York. It's art. Right. Yeah, he's showing his peck on everybody. Oh. Just ripped off those uh, tearaway pants. Look at those cheeks. Oh, I need a pair uh, of tearaway pants. Ass. Yeah, his butt looks good, oh, too. And he did a full split, yeah. and now there's two balls on the floor. Oh. He's wearing a jock. Hey, he's working out a little. Ooh. Doing some push-ups. Oh, yeah, hump that floor, baby. He's doing the hump. To come down the floor. worm hump. Yeah, the worm hump push-up. And, uh... Oh, yeah. He's wearing a red thong, or whatever it is, G-string. Um, he's gonna get so gay on these guys. I want to be in that kind of shape, though. I want to be built like a gay male dancer. Do you? No. <laughs> he's uh. This thing is right up his crack. What do you consider him a twink? Oh yeah. Is he? Sure. Nah, I thought twinks were small. Is that small. part of it? I mean, he's muscular, but he's small. He looks tall to me. You can be a tall twink, I think. You can? I think so. You can be a tall twink, I think. I think. I hope his asshole is really oniony. <laughs> and his underarms are gamey, and they hate it. There'll be some men here to smell it. Wednesday. It's the big gay off. Is that when it is? Next Wednesday? Next week. The one and done gay off. Oh. No, it's the first annual. No, right? no, no, no. First annual, buddy. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That's no, how it was no, so you bring a lot of guys in and they do a bunch of gay stuff in the studio? They dance yeah, around and things? stuff. That's no. our Valentine's Day thing. <laughs> I don't know. It's one gay guy. One gay guy. And, right. and a bunch of straight guys. guys. And Sounds more like a bachelor party to uh, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're going like to go one at a time. And, and then one at a time, they're going to have to do some things yeah. with the gay guy well, until Sal, they can't take it. Sal's going to be a gay entertainer. Really? It's the gay off. I like this. For the bit he's going to. Right. Sal did say he would... Do we want to get Sal waxed? What? It was brought up. Yes. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah. Can we get some chick to like wax his uh, ball bag? Yeah. Because yeah. he said he would do a Brazilian. With an what? Axe. Then what the fuck are we waiting <laughs> for? That's what I was oh. asking you. Okay, Sal, can we ahead. wax your pubic hair off tomorrow? Tomorrow? Are we allowed to do that? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. We're really allowed to do this one? Absolutely. How are we allowed to do it? Because I said so. Waxing oh, is not fun. body fluids. So, yeah, as long as he doesn't come all over all of us. Fucking <laughs> fat chance. <laughs> Sal actually answered it. That won't happen. Fucking e Rock had his arm hair, uh, uh, underarm hair, fucking and waxed off, hair. and chest and blew oh, up to great. watch. He was screaming. Remember was the time? Bleeding? You did a couple times. The one in the K Rock bathroom was ridiculous. I, I, they I pretty much used duct tape. He fell off the uh, fucking uh, toilet and hit the wall. Yeah. And collapsed between the toilet and wall. Yeah. Like a blumox. He's also got to get Sal's also got to get the asshole waxed, obviously. Sure. Oh. So who's gonna do this tomorrow? We got a waxer on on uh, Steph. <laughs> we'll have to. We'll find a waxer. If not, Troy will wax him. Troy's the most manscaped person on staff. I think that's. Troy fair. would actually do this. He would wax Sal. I bet. Would you let Troy wax you? Yeah, you would. Uh, I'd prefer if it was a professional waxer, oh, yeah. but yeah, I mean, it... what's he gonna say? He's got to say no at first. I well, I don't know. Sure. <laughs> right. I know. <laughs> well, I don't. Yes. Nice acting. <laughs> <laughs> I think Troy will do it, and we'll wax Sal's pubic hair, balls, and everything else. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd prefer if it was a professional. Brutal. Can we use duct tape right Taint. now and just, like, get it started? Yeah, I want to get want, my yeah. taint and asshole wax, to be honest with you. What? Wait, what? I want to get my taint and asshole wax. All right, so Joe will be in no, tomorrow, too. No, I'm not going to come in. I'm not going to do it on the air. Oh. But I just mean I, I actually would like to get that done. Oh, really? What are, are you really, Harry? New, what are you and the new gal doing that... Um... Yeah. Makes you think this. Yeah, you, is she complaining that your Vaz Devern's has hair on it? <laughs> <laughs> You're Egyptian, right? You got yeah. a lot of hair going on? Yeah, I'm real hairy. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's not even just for sexual thing. It's just, it's, it's fucking, it's a pain in the ass. You, you got to wipe your ass for 12 fucking hours because oh, your God. asshole's too hairy. Ew. It's oh, my God. Yeah. You have a hairy asshole? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do girls lick it? Uh, yeah, girls have licked it. Oh. <laughs> Jimmy goes, oh. 
Uh, Wait, that's the that's where it crosses the line. Uh, <laughs> you're a hairy asshole. Yes. yes. Yeah, kind of, Joe. Yes. Hey, you guys have a good point. Joe. Big surprise there, I guess for you. <laughs> I just have a nice hairless asshole. You have a hairless body, though, right? Yes, you I chest certainly hair? do. No, no, why he's got, would I? He's got forearm hair, though. Check it out. Yeah, Barely. Check it's it just out. Just wispy. Just tiny little thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just one of our yeah, go-to bits. That's people every time. Hey, uh, where's Troy? Can we duct tape some chest hair off? Yeah, just just a fine. test. Where's that the duct tape? duct tape? Where's Mars? We Mars the duct tape duct works tape. very well. Yeah, gaffer no? tape won't work. Gaffer no, tape. Well, he's got some tape right. down the hall. That professional. Yeah. I'm just saying duct tape, but he's got the good yes. tape, right? Where's Mars? He Mars is going three show. rounds under the television right now. <laughs> 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 It'll work on the nipples. Oh, yeah, I have hairy nips. So it'll be good. tape? Wouldn't that fucking rip your nipple off? I have hairy nips. I have hairy nips. How nips. bad is it? How you bad? like nip play? No. Ugh. How bad does it hurt, Iraq? Did it did it bleed when he got it done? Did his chest bleed? I think Iraq. He's was on the phone with Mars. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it bled a little bit, but not bad. What what are you who are you talking to right now? Trying to find Mars to get tape. Yeah. But Mars listens to the show, I think. Mm, not all that much. He's queering off right now. <laughs> is, is he ganging <laughs> off? Is he mowing off? Yeah, he's queering off in the other room. <laughs> he's doing some pulling pudge with someone else in the engineering department. Is he doing some meat gazing? Yeah, he's doing a little meat gazing. <laughs> he's a meat gazer, Mars. <laughs> uh, which one is that? Is that the K Rock worm? Hey, uh, Mars, we need some tape that could rip, rip some chest hair off um, Sal. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have it. You know. That, you know, that shit's you know, pretty sticky, tape? man. Yeah. Jesus. Let me right. feel that some package, of that tape. The uh, packaging tape. Let me make a decision for the show. That right shit now. might work. Put it right on my hand there. Put it over uh, your cock hole. You know what it'd be? Right. Yeah. Ah, uh, not nah. uh, Well, the, the palm of your hand is a little, uh, now it's been used. Put some crazy glue on that. <laughs> Troy knows how to pump shit that's up. Why they use, that's why they use wax. If you could use tape, they'd use fucking tape. You could use duct tape. Duct tape ain't gonna work. Yeah, but we don't have any. Uh, oh well. Uh, we could try it. I don't know if it's gonna work. Jimmy. <laughs> we don't have any ducks that need tape. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try it with that tape? <coughs> Is that That's a bad fine. one? It's not gonna it's no, it's just, the, the crazy glue just take my skin off, so it'll be good. That's true. It'll take your skin off. You can't do that. Let's crazy glue his nipples, and I'll put tape over, and then I'll rip it off. Uh, that no. sounds fair. Wow. Yeah, I don't it's... think that's good. That was. Good. I'm gonna do it. I don't think that's good. Oh, get away. Yeah, whatever. I'll rip his that. skin off. Yeah, I don't want to hurt him. It try could it. permanently we'll... disfigure him. Try the tape. Just see how it works. Don't what? read it. Sign it. How can Mars not have duct tape? What about pliers? <laughs> pliers. Pull out of the root. Yeah. <laughs> what about a fucking lighter? That is true. Turn it off. <laughs> Take it off. Oh, he loves disrobing. Do it at the root. Look at that. Oh, Sal. Mm -hmm. Sal. Look at you. You got uh, hair in all the right places, boy. Sal's unable unable to come body. Yeah. <laughs> unable to come. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> Troy, get him right in that belly Sal's patch there. Oh, this is, oh, this is homoerotic. <laughs> real tight, real Without tight. Without the erotic part. Well, that, it yeah, looks yeah. Like yeah, you should be <laughs> filming this, right? Yeah, why are we filming this? Uh, <laughs> I got to make sure it's on. Hang on. Uh, yeah, you really got to get it on good. Let me get it back. Oh my God! Look at him giggling oh, hey, hey, hey. like oh, a little girl. Yeah. So giggly. Uh, it's not gonna work, huh? You're out of your mind. Uh, that one's gonna hurt your nipples. Can we know. close the curtains? No, it's Why? fine. Why? Why? No, you're a guy. You're a guy. You yeah, you're full you of turkey. You don't want everybody to see that guy. wee blows tattoo on your chest. <laughs> wee blows. <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah. Uh, anything? That was, uh, oh, that's that's how, Troy, how come, you, how come you got to go all the way around his back? Yeah. Was yeah that was no, he was just trying to get what something if, going. What if you? But what if you did it like? What if you put the tape around your hand like inside out and really press down to just? <laughs> that wouldn't work. Like slap no. him. Yeah, slap him. Well, give just, it a whirl. They gotta have better tape back there. How do they not have real tape in this place? No, really, what man. the fuck? I blame the radio wizard. <laughs> you think it's his fault again? Of course yes. it is. He's practicing wizardry. <laughs> so doing he does love that. some wizardry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's practicing. He loves You're getting in some chest. wizardry. Get him in that belly Wait, patch. Don't, I, Look at all the hair Don't give him a heart attack. Yeah. No. Don't give him a heart attack over no, here. No, don't smack it. You don't yeah. have to give him a heart attack. Oh, oh, Jesus. That, that is not good for, no matter how old you are. Is that? Uh, that shit will fucking... Oh. Yeah, about, no, I'm fine. What about your... Um, let, let, let Troy give you a good spanking. 
Yeah, that would probably no. make. I think that would oh make my. up for everything. Are you thinking like a bare bottom spanking? You know what? A bare bottom <laughs> spanking might do this radio show some good. <laughs> just, just because Sal has oh failed us. Oh my god! Sal has failed us today. So you know what? Roy's down for whatever, so I don't even have to ask him. You know what will work? Let me come on your nipples, and then yeah. we'll just rip the contract. Come on. A good bare bottom <laughs> spanking over the knee. Yeah, but not too, you don't want to hurt. Don't do too too hard. Just gentle teasing spanking. Oh. Sam just ran down the hall. I don't know why. I hope he's not fucking telling the boss he's not no. tattletale. No, he's probably... I think duct tape would work, man. Might. Let's, let's, let's do it then. Look how red you are. Yeah, try to have me Yeah. I'm telling you, you got to go to that belly patch because the hair on your nips isn't long enough for tape. Look at that fucking... That fucking horse hair hanging down right you there. Got it. There you that go. No residue. Look at that yeah, shit. That gaffer tape doesn't leave residue. Oh, that's um, gaffer tape. That's no. gorilla tape. What's wrong with that? No, it's well, gaffer tape. Well, they need it <laughs> No? Is that really what they call that? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking crazy shit. It doesn't shit. belong to us. It's no. <laughs> Just see what happens over at the belly pad. Oh, that's not going to work. <laughs> what are you doing? He's oh. giggling. Oh. Gotta make sure it's on there. Ah, oh. oh. Jesus. No, nothing. Salad. No, the salad. no hair came off. Oh, yeah, you got some, but, but it didn't not, hurt. You need it like good. Sam, why would you I run am, down the hall? Second. Good bare bottom spanking. You want to straighten everybody right out. <laughs> 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 I kind of moved on from it, Jimmy. <laughs> I really. Sam, what's the problem? You're there, you know you're, you're heterosexual. Oh. When you look at like, like guy hair fucking thing. Exactly. And you just, have a big rage and heart. I have a goddamn <laughs> giant rock. No, it's just, I'm disgusted. I was going to say, I know I'm heterosexual, and I'm tingling a little bit. Uh, <laughs> that was all red, man. Yeah, look how red you get. What is that about? I don't know. Ugh. Breaking news. Yeah. The radio wizard is uh, right, using the crazy glue to keep the remaining hairs on his head. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's just me, right? It's That's just, just, just plain me. <laughs> what do we got? Jesus, man. Jesus. I think a good, firm, bare bottom spanking would straighten this yeah. whole you show think? right out. Sal? So? It's, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, don't I, don't, I really don't want to do it. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah it's no, sexy. We believe you. Don't worry about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, we course. believe you when you say that. When it's, you know, forced. <laughs> right. It's always, always sexy. Of course you're being forced yeah. to do it. When it's against your will. <laughs> your feet have to kick while he's doing it. Like, no, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is that, Tat? This one? Yeah. yeah. I got that when I was 15. It was really, really fucking ghetto. It's a floor delete. A what? A floor de It's the things on top of the fences. Yeah. I never got it filled in. I, I went to this really ghetto, like... Uh, the New Orleans Saints thing. Sal so got almost. that tat when he learned how to tie a wins or not. <laughs> 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 what are the other tats? We didn't realize you're all tatted up. What's that? Oh, I just got that one. That one I got um, back horrendous. in September. It's it looks a like a doily. Yeah. Oh, yeah, do it really does. He hangs his arm over the sofa. <laughs> you miss your grandma, I guess. It's huh? a tea cozy, yeah. yeah. What is that? Is that the staff of Ra? <laughs> no? Yeah. No, I forget. All right, thank you. All what right, else you got? Like what it. are the other tags? We're sweating that one out. Indiana Indiana Jones? Jones? Yeah, 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 too. No. Anything else? What else you got? No, I got I got a port wine stain above my ass crack, which looks like I forgot to wipe. Well, let's see that. Oh. Jeez. That's not bad. It's a teeny little stain. Yeah, it's like an arrow for cum. <laughs> what was Why, just why you look like that, Troy? What happened? Why stupid. are you creeped out? You know, so you know, why, you know why he's creeped out? Why? Because this is very similar. Remember our old intern, Sean? Uh, no. No. He was the one whose uh, Troy fucked his girlfriend. Oh, oh right, right, yeah. right, right, right. This right, is a very right. similar situation where, like, all of a sudden, it's all like, oh, you know, we're just playing around and everything. Funny games. And then all of a sudden, the person starts real. to develop weird feelings. Wait, oh, did he have God. feelings for you? He was weird. I, I, thought, I thought he was going to murder me, to be honest you with you. You dogged this girl, was man. Was she a good fuck? Pretty good. Yeah, she was fun. she blow you? Yeah. That's cool. Oh, man. Yeah. Hey, uh. Always be you eat her ass? No. Ah. She blew me in the park. Oh, that's nice. Up in the. That's nice. Yeah, the, uh... While blowing in the park one day. <laughs> in the very, very day. cold month of January. <laughs> January. It just ruined everything. I think a good bare bottom spanking will bring the show <laughs> home. I know agree. Uh, and also, Sal, Sal gets very red. His ass is going to be all red. Absolutely <laughs> uh, warm. Are we really like, do this? Look like an orangutan ass. I think we have to. I mean, what, what better way to straighten everybody out? Oh, the, the mood <laughs> in here has been very strange, yeah. Uh, a good bare bottom spanking, we'll bring, Sam, every, we'll bring think, everyone back together. When Troy's spanking him, he should say, you're a naughty, naughty boy. Yes, and I, and mm -hmm. I think that Sal should call Troy daddy while he's being spanked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Spank me, daddy. I agree.
Yeah, good bare bottom spanking. Mm -hmm. Bring this whole thing. Uh, belt? Is, oh lord. No bare bottom, bare hand, not too well, drunk. You use a belt around his neck. Yeah, to help him. Yeah, help him Calm. get to belt that magic place. Right. Hand on the ass. <laughs> let's go. Right. Come on, pants down. Let's <laughs> go. With the guys. Oh god. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> bare bottom spanking. Oh jeez. Are, are you wearing underwear? Yeah. Oh, are you gonna? Too, not too hard. Kind of are you wearing? gonna do um, a little uh, fantasy play? Like what? what you gotta, <laughs> you gotta tell him what he did bad, and and then Sal's gotta I'm tell him that it, how we won't, is. how we won't do it again, and <laughs> so red. And you have to discipline him. He looks like he was out the woods. It really is I'm red. Always, I'm doing the rest. Of, I'm doing the rest of the show under protest. I just. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're tapping yeah, out. It's kind of like tanking. a. It's kind of like a baseball game. Right. Uh, yeah. The rest of this game is under protest. Under protest. Yes. You've got to film this. For thing. later review. <laughs> yes. Sal, is, you are red, and now you're about to get your ass spanked. All right. All right. Um, like Troy Kwanis. Yeah, what are you, fucking world Why star hip-hop? Why do that? Turn well, it sideways. Restart the video. Why? Yeah, because now, now because the video's sideways. Cause restart you... the video, you yuts. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is filming for his personal. Anyone collection. do it in in portrait mode? You got landscape mode. Those fucking yeah. Shots. Good bare bottom spanking will really <laughs> bring this I show to really fruition. I wasn't really thinking about the f the framing of watching this fucking homo yeah. act. Much like every you're the only one that has a camera in their hands. All right, I got it. Right, got the rest it. of us got All our right. dicks. We're busy. <laughs> Troy, <laughs> Troy Kwan is sitting on uh, the uh, couch. You know what? Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. bare bottom spanking. All right. Imagine if we had a video element to the show, people could watch this. Does oh, anybody this. else? Does I anybody can. else vote that Sal should go pants fully down? Please kind of pull his pants. Like down. penis out, I mean. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, Derosa. <laughs> I say pants off, shoes off, socks off. Yeah, that's right. Oh, there we go. That now really is. Cooking. That really puts Troy in the power what position. What is going on? What do you mean? What's going on? A bare bottom spanking is really gonna put the icing on this cake. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be in the Radio Hall of Fame someday. It's going to put the icing in my pants. <laughs> I think that's this whole show has been leading up to yes. this. Yes. To this. And I think that uh, what, uh, what we need is a real... Uh, it's been a rough day on everybody. It'll be nice yeah. to let the stress out. Yeah, you know? yeah a good yeah, bare yeah. bottom spanking will really, uh, will really put the, uh, the capper, the nightcap on this program. <laughs> what, uh, what did you do? What did you do? Yeah. That was so bad, Sal. Why is why is Troy so angry with you? I I, re I really have no idea why Troy is so angry. Role with me. play. Oh oh. Yeah. Sorry. Why do you have your oh. Why do you have your fucking Ethiopian stomach and your and your, and your I don't like your dumb your dumb Ethiopian stomach. <laughs> exactly. Have you not eaten since fucking June? <laughs> I got I got a little bit yes. of stomach fat. Uh, but um. Right. So what'd you do? Did you forget to pick up milk again? Oh man! Uh -huh. Yeah, he, yeah. Troy works hard all day, and he comes home. Where's his dinner? Is that light on? What? What's the matter? No, that that that, that light. You looked at. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's yeah, big yeah. and perfect. Good call. There oh my go. God! <laughs> Jesus, there's, there's a spotlight on the actual. Yeah, well, you need to get a light on. Sure. You could bare bottom spanking. <laughs> what this radio program really needs to finally right. get things going. <laughs> get things going. <laughs> Timmy's really passionate about that. Uh, getting the show God. back on track. Right. i got to start this video over again. Uh, yeah, we've been all over the place. Yep. And I think uh, <laughs> what, Jimmy, if, what we wanna, if we want to right the ship, a good... Uh, oh, DeRoz, you can't stand there. It's in the way of the other camera. I, I don't see any bare bottom spanking happening. There you go. Yeah. All right, buddy. Uh, oh, this is mount up. Let's go. Here we go. Drop trial. Sal, penis out. <laughs> yeah. Well, how, are you, how else are you supposed to learn? Uh, uh, are you okay with this? Uh, <laughs> okay with this. Oh, my God. He's suggesting it. Of course he's okay. Yeah, he's okay. With it. <laughs> he's asking the guy that's demanding this if he's okay with this. Yeah. Man, he's. Dumb. Are you cool? I'm great. Let's go. <laughs> Down for whatever. Cooler. Troy yeah. sits like Han Solo in the cantina right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sal has one of those, like, inverted chest plates. Yeah, I do. It was much deeper when I was younger. His sternum. His, uh, hoo hoo. What are you doing? What's the matter? Yeah, exactly. You've been, you've misbehaved. You, you brought this on yourself. He's, I don't know what he wants. What he's embarrassed that he's got a fucking rod. You want an invite? What do you want? Lay down. Yeah, what do you want? What are you embarrassed uh -oh. for? You're the one oh, that misbehaves. Boy. 
Uh -oh. <laughs> I mean, you knew better when you when you, when you were supposed to do your duties and you didn't. Is this going to write very bad write boy. the ship? I think what's happening is the show is way off course, <laughs> and a good go. bare bottom spanking you just bring it all home. Here we go, folks. This is the dance. <laughs> yeah. Get that out of your what short. You get on his lap. Yeah. Yo, why are get you insisting on, on that? Get on Daddy's lap. What are you doing? Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> right. <Look> this <laughs> this just got really real. Get over Daddy's this lap. This is so. <laughs> So gay. Yeah, I was over daddy's lap. Oh, you've been a bad daddy, bad boy. Oh my dear lord. Oh, oh, oh lord. <laughs> what is he doing? He's taping up his ass. Why are you ass. taping his ass? Roy is putting tape oh my. Off. That looks so gay. Well, you know what? I feel like things oh, are beginning man. to balance. The, the, the gimbal is really balancing out nicely. <laughs> the, the, the spanking has begun. You sure this is what the show needed today, huh, Jimmy? I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah it's okay, this? Dick. I think what the show is, really um, needed is to straighten it out. <laughs> is he, uh... What? Is he aroused? No, he isn't aroused. Uh, oh, really? I think that's why he won't take his pecker out. People are asking what happened to the show. I, well, this, I don't know. Jimmy thinks this is what the show needed. What happened was the show got off course, and uh, a good bare bottom spanking is what we really needed to us to straighten the needle. You sure? This is what we needed, huh? He's taping him up like, look at how red his ass is. Why are you taping him up? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you two. Uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, what about. Oh. Yeah, break that tape. No, your ass looks like it's got hives. It it's really is red. red. Yeah, that's well, you know, that's what happens. I bet your dinner won't be late again, though. Yeah, when Daddy true. wants dinner, it oh, won't be late again. Go. That's right. All right. Oh! <laughs> Is that yeah. too hard, Sal? No. Oh, oh, no. He said no. Sam, no. Sam. What? Sam. 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 Don't be such a fucking pussy. All right, Mark. Where's the bell? Give me your bell. <laughs> I want to get a close-up on Sam's oh. face. Oh. Don't be such a pussy, Daddy. <laughs> Oh, God. This has gotten... Oh, oh, okay. Oh, he's taping his ankle. Oh, shit, he got his ankle. No, no, no. Oh, look. They're, oh, look, they're fighting. Just don't hit his head on the... Oh, don't hit his little tender head on the... They're wrestling. Should we sure this is what the show needed? Well, I wouldn't say tape the ankles. No, I know Where's it going? Like a fucking ha hazing, a football camp hazing. Yeah, don't don't. don't oh, call. There's, oh. a, there's a real fight going on. This is I, like Sandusky. All right, don't let him up. Don't tape. He just want to be taped. You're gonna, you're gonna cut yourself on the yeah, he's already. Oh, oh, Wait, now you're your all ass? taped. Oh, you're gonna get this. Yeah, don't tape. Okay, Oh my God! This, I mean, uh, is, this so, took a fucking turn. Is the well, show, I, show back on course now? Yeah. I don't know. I I feel like the spanking went went was wayward. I mean, uh... what what? Are you bleeding? <laughs> Where are you bleeding? Oh my God. You got punched in the nose? Yeah. Solid made oh, you bleed? Nice. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, that's sexy that. now. What that's happened? A, that's going to make that spanking even blood better. Play. Troy, what happened? Well, well I was trying to take his ankles. And what did you get hit with? I don't know. I think his arm or something. It's fine. It was a mistake. Yeah. Nothing that they can't straighten out with a good bare bottom spanking. <laughs> <laughs> what happens is things get crazy. What we really need here is a, a bare bottom spanking to mend relationships. <laughs> bare, bottom. <laughs> bare bottom spanking. Jimmy <laughs> insists, though. This is the only only thing. Uh, yes. We, we got to get back these, on the same page. We got to get, get get back on the same page and get these relationships mended. What in a little meeting <laughs> after the show do the same trick? No, I think no. what happens is <laughs> Sal began to object, and I think what we really need. Is a good a good bare bottom spanking to mend fences. <laughs> Not a meeting be between ourselves. No, Sal, you want to let it all out? Off. No. Holy I shit! Can't get it wrong. That was crazy gay. Yeah. <laughs> Sal really seemed to um, enjoy Sal that. Sal took his punishment. Right and, on the money. Uh, Troy meted out. Troy, yeah. Troy meted out the punishment. Oh, and Sal yeah. took it. Sal's an ass man. Uh, Justin Stangle, who yeah. is the head writer for David Letterman yeah. and a fan of art, writes, just tuned in, no idea what the hell's going on. Mm. As a listener, not entirely sure this is what the show needed, Jim Norton. Oh, Jim. Well, you know what happened was <laughs> Jimmy. the show is right back on track now, and I think what, what you can attribute that to the bare bottom <laughs> spanking that occurred here a moment ago. <laughs> <laughs> The show needed. <laughs> Jim, Jim Norton insists, <laughs> insists yeah. that this is what was needed. I'm a
Yeah. There might have been a couple people that tapped out, but they don't have the responsibility of so presenting a radio show. All right, all right, get your pants and get out of here. Uh, Good job, Sal. Oh, Sal. Oh, you know what? If you go to Rol Rolando S99 on Instagram, you will see where your pants are. <laughs> oh, no. no. Jesus. Oh, no. What did oh, they do to his pants? Rol Rolando S99. Roland, Roland's not in the best mood. No, but no, uh, he took a picture of E-Rock Radio on Twitter uh -huh. holding up Sal's um, pants. Oh, they're in the uh, And I guess you pissed off E-Rock yesterday, so he stole your pants. I'm getting word. E-Rock, why did he piss you off yesterday? He uh, decided to break one of the uh, wrestling DVDs that came in from the oh. WWE, uh -oh. thinking he was smart, and took it and decided to uh, smash it a a across the console in the office there. Oh, shit. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Would Sal be allowed to run around in his underpants? Out there? No. I mean, it's probably a bad look. No, I'm sure they would get very upset. Why? I'm just asking. Because somebody would complain. Yeah, you can't walk out. There'd be a, a woman that would be like, oh. Uh. And then she'd say, like, well, if this show has learned how to write the ship, why is the rest of the platform not doing enough straightening out in their own studios? <laughs> so what do you think they need? So you think this should be policy, Jimmy, when yes. things go awry? When things go awry, a good bare bottom spanking is what's needed. <laughs> it's clearly the answer. Have we proven it here today? Yes, I believe we have. <laughs> a, a good bare bottom spanking is clearly the solution to any of your company's woes. <laughs> Do you think the guys upstairs could learn from us today? I really think so. Yeah. It's what they all need. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> this guy yeah. just writes, so I'm about to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you aren't in the room. Exactly, and you, you don't have uh, a show to fix. Mm. We had a broken product here. <laughs> People are insisting that the show did not need that. Well, oh, really? Yes, they're insisting. I absolutely yeah. agree with you, Jim. Yeah. I think you were right on the fucking money. I, I think, think so, what needed too. To happen. So, how's your ass? You all right? Uh, my ass is a little, a little clammy. Ugh. From that. Ugh. The yeah, tape? Okay. It's clammy. And the hand, <laughs> the nervous energy between two men when, uh, <laughs> when there's a mission to be accomplished. There's a nervous anticipation between two men. <laughs> For the sake of the show, right? <laughs> yeah. Nervous anticipation. Yeah, I, I think what happens is Troy's hands get a little clammy when he knows he's about to uh, administer the appropriate discipline, and Sal begins to sweat on his buttocks when he understands the, uh, the clammy punishment headed his way. Clammy <laughs> punishment. Rolando, R O L A N D O, uh, S99 on Instagram, could have just Instagrammed the greatest picture. Ever. Look at this. Oh Joe DeRosa God. filming the action, and all you see is Sal naked from the half butt down. Ah. So you don't even know what the That's, fuck he's uh, doing. It's, uh, that, that moved things around in me that I didn't know I needed moving around. No, huh? Yeah. I felt like that sort of slid some furniture out, and I found some things behind that furniture that I didn't want to fucking find right now. Yeah, Your penis was, moved a little. Huh? It was bad. I, there was a tiny tingle during that whole experience. I but don't... I, uh, what? I don't think in a homosexual way. I think it just more in a disciplinary way. Yeah. How did that uh, go for you there, Troy? It was good. Are we waxing him tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I think so. We're, we're going to wax you for real tomorrow. Brazilian. Brazilian wax. <laughs> <laughs> Do you insist? <laughs> Well, yeah, that was the <laughs> Sal, that was the agreement, right? Yeah, that's right, taint, yeah. asshole. Jimmy, what a good Brazilian uh, waxing. Uh... I think it's uh, sometimes a good waxing <laughs> is good uh, just to make sure that things stay the course. <laughs> but as of today, I, I think we accomplished what needed to be done. Yeah? Yeah. And, and I believe that the clamminess <laughs> that these men shared just goes to prove my point. What, what point is that? The, you know, the, the show was, <laughs> the show was, the show was was out of whack, and uh, good bare bottom spanking brought things, put them right back on kilter. You look like you look like a prosecution attorney that doesn't bind what the witness is saying. Yeah. And what point is oh, that? No, we're fine. Fine. I wasn't even looking at him. I'm like, what point is that? If Jimmy insists, insists, then I, I guess we did uh, accomplish some things here. Well, it, yeah. it wasn't what I felt. I just felt that you know. Ah, uh, the show needed to take its medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Sal still has no pants. No, no, he's just standing know, there uh, in his undies. UPS Sean just writes, "Out Q is less gay." Well, I true. can't even argue that at this UPS point. UPS Sean can can fix whatever radio show he needs to fix with whatever <laughs> manner he deems fit. We saw what needed to be done. 
And we did it. And we uh, went for it, right? Yes, we got the goal accomplished. Is it time for line of the day? Yep. Line of the day. Mask <laughs> sexual flavors is the new way to foreplay available in four tantalizing flavors. These oral gel strips will be the spark to light your bedroom flame. Page two. Visit sexualflavors.com to purchase or find a retailer near you. Wait. Joe DeRosa is at Caroline's tonight and Sunday. Uh, what, what's up? Yes. Sal's leaving the studio without pants on. Well, he's tied a shirt around himself. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Which is fine. I will uh, say a little Sal. Catholic schoolgirl look you got there with sure, the Sure, nothing wrong with that. Plaid yeah. shirt. Where nothing was that look that. during the spanking? Exactly. <laughs> well, we insisted on a bare bottom spanking, Well, Joseph. not all of us. Uh, we took your lead on that one. We insisted. <laughs> yeah. We all insisted? Or yeah. No, what happened? Yeah. 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 Exactly. Much to my chagrin, Sal left his underpants halfway on, but I felt that, uh, we, you know, whatever. We got what we needed. Mission accomplished. <laughs> yeah, Mission accomplished. I know. I really wanted the penis out. I don't yeah, penis. crossing the finish line really as we, as we uh, missed. Out. I just wanted to know that his, pe- that his penis was pressing against Troy's leg and, and then getting further pressed with the impact of the ass slapping. I wanted to know that that was happening. Right. right. We'll see right. tomorrow what the show is. I just is. wanted to see what it would do, like what would happen afterwards. Sure. But whatever. What are you going to do? This is all leading up to our big uh, one-and-done gay off. Yeah, yeah off. First, first annual, annual gay off. <laughs> one-and-done. Yeah. I have to uh, plug real quick. Sure, uh, Jimmy. I'll sure. be in Caroline's in April, but this month, mm-hmm. February 17th, I think I have one show on sale with Attell, Amy, and Artie. The first show is sold out at the Borgata. Late show is available. And then February 22nd, 23rd, I'm in Vegas at the MGM with David Tell. Okay. That's it. Um, we're going to do some lines. Yes, we are. I mean, how many runner-ups? Some lines. Yeah, right. well, we doing coke or something, right? Exactly. How many? Sorry. You have three. All right, here's a runner-up line of the day. Eight. She wouldn't waste any. I could lay my head on an original copy of the Constitution, <laughs> and it wouldn't be ruined. <laughs> you Zumba funny. girl pissing in my mouth. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. I forgot about that. Uh, that was so long. That was before the show got off track. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even really know it got completely off uh, track. Without a doubt, completely derailed. I needed some huh? type of solution. Were we, were we heading toward an iceberg, you think? Yeah, we really were. We yeah. were just kind of uh, way off kilter. <laughs> Here's another runner-up line of the day. Oh, Start off all light and easy yes. today. It's not today. It's oh. today. <laughs> <laughs> Sam called him. Boiling point. <laughs> yeah. Sammy! All right. Yes, Sam. Another runner-up for me. Woo! Uh, another. Is that it for runner-ups? One more, maybe? One more. All right. One more runner-up. They coordinate their dress every oh, single fucking day. It's disgusting. Yeah, right. Can't wait till it's coordinated silk pillows. <laughs> <laughs> that was one. There you go. Sharing the wealth. <laughs> In there. Cool. Making everyone uh, pretty happy. Yeah, you're actually just passing around those compliments. Yes. <laughs> Here's your line of the day. Here comes light of the day. Light of the day. Light of the day. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. A dirty <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker. I got a text from him. How's he doing? He's doing because he came on the after show for a minute because I told him we were going to talk about Syracuse. But I, t- I told him to, to. All right, whatever. But then he wouldn't. When can we get him on the regular show? He no, wouldn't talk. He, wouldn't, he won't come on our show. He hung up. He won't. He came on the after show just because he thought he was talking about Syracuse. Right. And then the second Sam even started hinting toward him used to being an intern and stuff. He he's like, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to. I'm hanging up. I'm What's hanging wrong up. With him? And, and, and and then he texted me and said he's taken enough abuse. We won't even abuse him. And he's not I, kidding anymore. No, we just no, he a wasn't kidding at all. Story. Wow, he's not kidding at all. He's he, that's too bad. Yeah, fuck him. <clears throat> fuck cream pie Jones. Right, no, he's a good boy. No, he's not. No, we well, cream pie Jones really high. needs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he uh <laughs> he needs uh bare bottoms. He needs an attitude adjustment. Mm-hmm. By way of bare bottom spanking. <laughs> Via. <laughs> yeah. Via. This going to make me laugh all uh, fucking it really day. Is. Oh, good. Good. Just, I like, it's it's I like how it's a good, a good bare bottom right. spanking. Not just the bare bottoms. No, it's a good, a good, 
What it needed was <laughs> what it needed was a right. good bare a good bottom spanking. Sometimes the right answer is not always the most popular answer. <laughs> All right, uh, we got to talk about this for a second. Uh, Joe DeRosa, thank you very much, sir. Oh, thank you. Caroline's tonight and Sunday. Highly recommend you go see Joe DeRosa. Thank you very much. Absolutely. O-N-A is the promo code. Oh, nice. Okay. O-N-D. Spell out end. Yeah. A-N-D. Valentine's Day right around the corner. If you uh, still haven't decided what to get that special someone on your list, don't worry. Pro Flowers is coming to the rescue with a gorgeous bouquet. Guaranteed to brighten your loved one's uh, day. I get flowers from from uh, proflowers.com all the time. Love them. And I'll tell you why I love them. They last a long time. They're no, good no, flowers. I'm not, no, you don't have to do the jerk-off motion. I, this, this is one I, I really want people to know about. These are fresh flowers. I go to my about. local uh, supermarket. They think they're doing the flower thing. Mm-mm. The fucking flowers last two days tops. Yes, they stink. And I don't know what Pro Flowers is guaranteeing, but I could tell you from experience, it's at least a week to ten days. At least, at least, send a hundred uh, blooms of love and a free glass vase from Pro Flowers for just nineteen ninety nine. That's fifty percent off. This huge bouquet comes with one hundred gorgeous and colorful blooms. Add a uh, spa kit and a gourmet chocolates for just ten dollars more. You got to enter the code OP. You don't have to stick around for Take this. Take it honestly. easy. See you tomorrow. Who's that? What's he doing? Wait. What guess are you offering? What? Who's he offering? Who's he offering? We're all waiting. Is this guy? Oh, yes. Okay. Wait. Uh, I, the bailout guy we're going with? Yeah. Why not? Wait. Who's that other guy? He used to be on fucking Walking Dead. Oh, right, right. He's not. <laughs> because you're sad, we'll do the uh, the bottom guy. But just because you're sad. But don't fake sad from now on. I don't. He won't fake it. <laughs> I'm not faking anything. All right, listen. So where were we? 100 gorgeous colorful blooms. Spa kit and gourmet chocolates for just $10 more. Nice. Just enter code OPI when you order. Order today for Valentine's Day delivery. You can't beat the price or convenience. Here's the only way to get this amazing Valentine's Day deal from Pro Flowers. Call 1-800-PRO-FLOWERS and mention OPI, O-P-I-E, or go to proflowers.com. Click on the microphone in the top right corner and type OPI, O-P-I-E. That's proflowers.com. Click on the microphone and type in OPI, O-P-I-E. Order now. Pro fra- Don't stop. It hurts. He's slapping me. It fucking hurts. Roland's taking out his frustrations on Joey. He's he slapping him. Why are you slapping him? I know it hurts, though. Stop. <laughs> Proflowers.com. We'll see you tomorrow. The OP and Anthony show is available later today with Sirius XM on demand. Right. You've heard about it. You've waited four long hours for it. And now the moment you've waited for rears its ugly nose. Head. After Opie and Anthony Live is coming up next.